Hey, you still have my uh, yellow and white bandana? Oh, you know what? I gave it to Claudia. Oh, man. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you go over to her place and get it? This way you'll get a chance to meet her. Right. She lives over in uh, Nokamana Pise, room 210. Nokamana Pise? That's where Holly and Bonnie live. They live in the same building. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it took me about two hours to score with you. I've been playing this damn game for a month and I can't hit Jack. Must be our pictures from Atari Land. I gotta get these developed. I know. I can drop them off at Photo Hut tomorrow morning on my way to Take One Do. Jeez, you scared me. Look, I'm sorry, honey. There's nothing to be afraid of. Uh, don't call me honey, and what are you doing in there? I've been looking all over for you. I missed you. Miss me? You are in my room 20 minutes ago. Did you close the door? I closed it halfway. There, there's something I need to talk to you about. What is it? Well, Sven, I'm sick and tired of watching you and Holly prance around like you're the happy couple when deep down, I know that you need a real woman. First of all, we don't prance. We frolic, and uh, what do you mean Holly's not a real woman? Oh, get off it, Sven. We both know that we were meant for each other. Uh, we meant to be friends, all right? If that, now, if you'll excuse me, I uh, mean to be somewhere else. Wait, I'm sorry for being too forward, but you and I both know that Holly's not doing it for you, literally. So why don't you meet me in my room tomorrow night about 8 o'clock? Holly has her two-hour astronomy lab. Uh, whatever. Call me or something, all right? 
Dutch, do you think this is right? I mean, you and Terry are our best friends. Well, I wouldn't want Terry to be hurt, but if my love for you is on trial, let me plead insanity. Dutch, about your pleading insanity, what did you mean by that? Oh, don't you worry. Don't you worry about that, baby. That was just a mistrial. For I am the judge, the jury, and the executioner. <sighs> That's right, baby. The courtroom of love is now in session. Judge, what the hell are you talking about? Claudia, I, I like you a lot. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Should I knock? Or should I just walk right in? Hi, is, uh, is Claudia here? Uh, I'm Claudia, and this is Dutch. <laughs> Sven? Dutch? You two know each other? Uh, Sven, uh, I, I can explain. Now, uh, I know that this looks pretty bad, but, uh, you know, it, it feels pretty good. Huh? Huh? Oh, really? I, I didn't know screwing your best friend's girl could be that good. Oh, no. You're friends with Terry, aren't you? Oh. That makes one of us. I do believe this is my bandana. Wait till I tell Terry where I found it. No. I can't allow you to ruin our friendship. Even though I'm doing a pretty good job of it myself. Oh, yeah? Well, Terry's my friend, too. And friends don't let friends drive drunk. Or do mean things behind their back. Don't you dare tell him, Sven. There are other ways around this. Yeah, you better hope I think of one, bucko. Uh, oh, and uh, nice meeting you, Claudia. Hi, honey, it's me. Just letting you know that my friend Sven is on his way over to get the yellow and white bandana I gave you. Oh. Thanks. Sven, is something wrong? Is there something on your mind? Something you want to talk about? Well, yeah. There is something that's been bugging me, Terry. Well, what is it? I can't think of that damn guy from Hee Haw! Well, which one? You know, the fat guy that who played the banjo. It's Roy, Roy something. I can't think of it. Gee, uh, I don't know. Uh, Roy, Roy Rogers, maybe? No. no. Roy, I don't know. Roy Orbison or uh, Roy Hobbs? No. Roy, fat, play the banjo, the fat guy. Roy, it's driving me crazy. <sighs> hey, Lester, who's the fat guy from Hee Haw? They were all fat, weren't they? Well, yeah, most of them, but, but who's the lead guy? The one who played the banjo? I don't know. John Tesh? No, he's the guy from Press Your Luck. No, that's not him. Wink Martindale hosted Press Your Luck. Wait a minute. I thought he was Mr. Belvedere. No, that's Alan Thick. Alan Thick? Alan Thick did not play Mr. Belvedere. Um. Excuse me, Sven. Uh, yes, he did. <laughs> he did not! You're not even close! Wasn't it Chuck Woolery? No, he hosted Super Password. Are you sure? I think Gavin McLeod hosted that. No, he's the dad from Eight is Enough. Eight is Enough. Eight is Enough. Scott Bayo was on that show, right? No, he hosted Dance Fever. I thought that was Ahmad Rashad. No. 
Ahmad Rashad was the guy who drove OJ in the white Bronco. Right. All right, good. Now you guys ready to play some basketball? I'm a 5'10 white Jewish guy. What do you think? Stay in school, get diesel. Jorisi, my friend. Always next time. Yeah, way to pull that shot out of your ass. Yeah, well, uh, I got bigger surprises for you, my friend. But right now, I'm gonna go take a shower, okay? All right. So I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna shoot around for All a little right. bit. Spend. What the hell do you want, man? Well, I, uh, I hope you didn't mention a little incident to Terry. But, you know, I just got back from, uh, playing ball with Terry, but, uh, haven't made up my mind yet. Well, don't make me make up your mind, boy. It's over, man, all right? It's over. What the hell are you going to do about it anyway? You don't even want to know. You don't even want to know. Ooh, I'm shaking, man. 